All right, so I'm gonna be using 220. And this has a wax backing on it, and I'm gonna be using this 2000. If you're not afraid of work, I mean a lot of work, uh, you can go from 220 by roughing up the outside to 2000 and get um, pretty close to a mirror finish. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my process. I'm gonna, I typically work with smaller segments, so I'm gonna try to rip up about about this size. Probably go with something about. I want to go kind of against the grain, but not hard until I can kind of determine that I'm making some scratches, right? Because 220 is going to be kind of powerful. You'll see it start to pull a really matte finish, right? That's what this is building up for. But again, really light touch with this because you don't want to score it too deep or else you're just right back where you begin. You can kind of see it's it's getting this um, <clears throat> kind of a almost a hammered look to it, and that's just because I'm trying to avoid scoring in certain directions. Now this is uh, actually made out of aluminum, so you want to be careful because it's a softer and lighter material, and so you can do a lot more damage, and you can take away a lot more material than uh, you're wanting. Now something like stainless steel, you can really whale on. And I've done that uh, with 303 stainless. So I've got it reasonably scuffed up and I didn't want to get inside here because it's re it's okay for now. And I thought it'd add a little bit more character. Uh, the real reason is that I, I'm lazy. I'm going to put away the 220, and I want to come in with the 2000, and I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half to give myself some grip, and just start on one area pretty rigorously so that you can gauge just how much it's going to take. Because this used stuff right here that reflects really easily is almost like a leather polish. It's very, very, very fine. You can, you can hear the difference, and you just see how it uh, almost immediately chromed that area right there. I don't know if you can see that. So we'll start by just taking all the rough edges off. So this is after just a few more minutes of using the uh, prior used sandpaper to try to mirror up this finish and you can see that it's a lot clearer than it was before. Using the compound that's actually already on your hands, you can do final polishing. Now I don't recommend this, but it's definitely a viable option to get a very mirrored finish. Anyway, just a quick tip. So. While this may be far from perfect, it definitely proves the effectiveness of using 220 and 2000 grit sandpaper to get a very, very chromed result. Now keep in mind that this is aluminum, so it will... <clears throat> now keep in mind that this is aluminum, so it will scratch or scuff quickly, but with continued use, it should actually get shinier. I hope that you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please like and subscribe to follow along on this journey.